Uh, hello, welcome to another episode of the Bradford City Career Mode. I'm just moving my mic there, so if you can hear that. But we are here with another game, and we're against Watford um, at home at the Valley Parade. And last season, these cunts were our bogey team, which basically means we couldn't beat them at all. Like, we, did lost, we lost them both times, pretty much. So hopefully we can turn that around, because we need to get some wins if we're going to actually go for top four. You didn't see the last episode, though. In fact, I'll recap the whole of August. We kicked off August, well, the 4th of August, obviously, with the Community Shield. It was a 2-1 loss to Liverpool. We then took on Southampton to open the Premier League season. And unfortunately, we lost 2-1 to them as well. A bit unlucky for that one, I'm pretty sure, but it's just how it goes. We then drew one all to Arsenal away at the Emirates, which is a good result, I say, I would say, personally. And then we lost to Brighton, and I don't even want to talk about this match. I don't really want to, really to detail with this one. And basically, we had five shots on target, I believe, and they had two shots on target. Um, yeah, that's all you need to say about that one, really. Then we uh, took a little break from the Premier League. We travelled to Hillsborough and we destroyed Sheffield Wednesday 4-0, which is a pretty good little match. And then we came back into the Premier League and I thought, hell, we're going to lose another match again in the Premier League. But Usman Dembele saving my ass and we got a 2-1 victory, which is thankful. I'm, well, I'm really thankful, I should say, for that. But this month, we've got Watford to kick off things. We then go to Bashak Sahir. I don't know if we're home or away for that one. We'll find out when we get there. Uh, we've got Huddersfield away. Then we've got Southampton next in the Carabao Cup, I believe. And we'll be at home for that one. That's going to be a lovely, difficult match. But they might not play their full squad since it's Carabao Cup. I don't know. But Then we've got Newcastle to finish off the month at home at the Valley Parade. And is there a game straight after that in October? Okay, there's Rennes, City, Bournemouth, Mitchelland, and Fulham. Okay, right. Just try to keep an idea on how many rotations of my squad I have to do. Because there are some games that are coming up quite close to each other. But before we go into any game, we have got something to do that we haven't done in a little while. Because we haven't really needed to. Or I think I maybe did it in August, I don't remember. But, is of course the squad report. Who's grown and who has shrunk so far this season. We're going to start off with Valerie Nisimov. has gone up 2 from a 76 to a 78. He could actually... Maybe be a dark horse this season. It's taken him a while, but you could maybe be a dark horse this season. We've got Deo Upamecano up one from an 85 to an 86. Eder Militao up one from an 87 to an 88. Lucas Linkvist up one from a 73 to a 74. Hopefully he could do a good amount of growth and he'll be a good backup centre-back for next season. Lance Hill gone up one from a 74 to a 75. Stanislav Grinkov gone from uh, gone up one from a 70 to a 71. I've accidentally skipped past Mats Martensen who's also gone up one from a 74 to a 75. Roman Mazepov gone up one from a 74 to a 75. Johan Carbonero got up one from an 83 to an 84. Carl Fredrickson got up one from a 74 to a 75. Stepan Laganov got up one from a 70 to a 71. Mason Greenwood got up one from an 85 to an 86. Erling Braut Haaland got up one from an 85 to an 86. Alban Lafon, Dean Henderson, Akraf Hakimi, Igor Yartsev, Thomas Hennessy, Aaron Wambasaka, Yuri Tielemans, Donald O'Leary, Erkan Kutchu, Jaden Sancho, Usman Dembele, Adam Hloshek. Diogo Yota and Vyacheslav Varenkov, who's out alone at Swansea. None of them have grown yet, but it's still early days in the season. So we'll expect some growth from some of them, at least. Maybe not all of them, but some of them in the coming months. So we're going to go into this Watford game. Before we do, though, we're going to show you the news. The belly scores a brace as Bradford win over Aston Villa. The belly was in superb form from Bradford City, scoring a brace which guided his side to a 2 1 win against Aston Villa. Like he literally saved me. I would have lost otherwise. I'm not shitting you. All right. Premier League, August, player of the month shortlist. We won't have any in there because we did kind of shitty. We had Richarlison from Everton, or Richarlison, however you want to pronounce it. Sane from Manchester City, McAllister from Arsenal, and Kian from Southampton. And in the end, we have... Oh, I've, I've gone to the wrong news page. Ooh. We've got McAllister grabbing the August player of the month award, and I can't disagree with that. He was tearing us apart against... Uh, oh, when we were against Arsenal. And look at this. He's actually quite a solid player, to be fair, so I wouldn't be surprised. But anyway, Johnson in demand. Interest is thought to be growing in Johnson as a number of international teams express interest in a talented manager. His reputation has really been burgeoning since taking over Bradford City a short time ago. What do you mean? Six years is not a short time. With many saying he could very well be the next great manager. Sources close to the, both, the club, both the manager and the club he currently manages, Bradford City, got in, got in touch earlier today to exclusively tell us that delegates from the Chile... Football Association last night. Okay, Chile, Ecuador. Okay, any good teams? Mexico, Mexico might actually be okay. And Uruguay, but they won't have Suarez and Cavani anymore. And America. Oh, uh, fuck's sake, bro. Can I? Could we get some good like teams? 
We've kicked off our Europe Europa League campaign, uh, campaign. We know who we're kicking it off against. That is going to be against Bashik Sahir, not Stad Rene. We've got that wrong there. But um, regardless, we went over the Europa League group stage draw at the end of the last episode. So you should know our group. We've got Stad Rene, Bashik Sahir, and Michelin. And we should be able to get through that. But if we don't, I'll be very concerned. I'm just going to go all out here with this team because I need to win against Manchester City. Because they're pricks, pretty much. For time, I'm actually going to swap one player out. I'm going to have Haaland up front. I want a bit of pace up front. I know Hloshek's got pace, but Haaland's got more. Uh, we're going to give Yota a bit, a bit of time on the bench. Why is Carbonero in the reserves? Couldn't tell you. But we're going to put him back on the bench. In case we need him. But anyway, this is a team we're going to use for this game against Watford at the Vibe Parade. We've got Lafont and Goal, Hakimi and wan Basaka as the full-backs. Militao and Ipamecano as the centre-backs. Debelli and Sancho as the wide midfielders. Tielemans and Greenwood as the centre midfielders. Adam Hloshek, centre attacking midfielder. And Haaland as the striker. I could always switch Haaland and Hloshek around maybe, but I don't really like playing Haaland that position. And he's got more pace, so he can make a run through if need be. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with this team. And hopefully... We don't lose to Watford once again because we need the Premier League run here, like a good amount of like a good amount of like wins or at least good results to try and launch us up the table a bit. Because I think top four at the moment are Southampton, Liverpool, Man City, and I don't know the last team. It might be Everton, and I think they've won every game so far this season. And I don't really like. I'm not really a fan of that because we haven't won every one of our games. Okay, Gabamin's just come in. Score one more and then we'll go into it. I said that as I scored as well. <laughs> Beautiful. Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football. Let's see so if Watford have got any new signings My that are going to piss me off or if we're just going to be unlucky against them again. I don't know why Watford are so good against me, to be honest. Right but this could be the turnaround season. This needs to be the turnaround season. This needs to be our top four season, realistically. If we don't get that, then what do we have? If you can hear my blind, um, I apologise as well. Like hitting against the window frame or the... I don't know what to call it, really. But basically, if you hear that, I apologise. I've got a window open because it's boiling in my room. And I don't like recording in a stuffy environment. I want some fresh air to breathe while I do it. Anyway, here is the lineup for Bradford City. We already know it. But Lafont, Wan Basaka, Makano, Militao, Hakimi, Greenwood, Tielemans, Sancho, Hloshek, Nambele, and finishing off with a little bit of the Norwegian magician, Beanpole, whatever you want to call him. Obviously, it's Haaland. I don't know why I'm hyping him up so much. He hasn't done quite a lot recently. We need him to start, like, banging in the goals. He's got a few this season, but not enough to um, get us anywhere yet. Watford, starting 11, Ramiro in goal. Milinkovic, Kavasele, Tajiku and Augustinson. Melendo, Belmonte, Gbamin and Villa. And then Malpai and Boateng. So a good couple of strikers they've got there. They've got Malpai and Boateng now. Don't know if they had Malpai before. Decent bench as well. But it's a team that we should be beating, honestly. And how we haven't done in... Premier League action yet last season and well we might do it today but hopefully we can beat them hopefully it's not our bogey team still hopefully we can overcome the bad luck we have against Watford and hopefully we can get a good victory to send us a little bit further up the table maybe I just need some new tactics to be honest because I always use the same tactics not the same tactics but like the same passing manoeuvres but I don't know how they would register them in their brains. They are Sancho AIs. Now. Although maybe they do. I don't know. Play Sancho. And control. Augustinson. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. How is... Okay, and Sancho. I know you've, like, fucked up there. But you could get that ball back when he's fallen over. Oh, dear. See, that's what I don't Tell get. Like, here. every time I just get the ball off me. Emmanuel Boateng. Boateng now for Watford. They might just be as good as last season. And teammates to play it to. Tielemans. The tackle, another block from Tielemans, but yet the Hornets still have the possession. Tielemans with a third tackle, and finally the ball comes back to Bradford City. Dembele, Haaland back to Dembele. 
Oh, bro. I wanted to finesse it the other way, and it didn't do it, which is unfortunate. I also wanted to play through Haaland, but they ran offside, so I had to wait. And, they, you know, it, it couldn't happen. But it is promising from us, I would say. Especially against Watford, who we never seem to be able to beat. What is Ramiro thinking here for his club? Aiming from Mop High. There's one ahead or two, fair. It's a head, it's a debut game for the goalkeeper. Well, Derek, it's a top he better do good, really otherwise he'd be out of Watford. Really Yuri. Boschek. Sancho. That's a penalty and a half, ref. That's a penalty and a half. I was getting ready to put that top bins and Augustinson has just taken down Sancho. I don't think there'll be a card for it, but that is 100% a penalty. No doubt in my mind. I'm getting ready to get that shot. He just nicks my leg from behind. I don't know if I'm going to score it either, though, because I suck at penalties, bro, but it's not going to be Yuri that takes it. It's going to be the man who got fouled. This is probably one of my stupidest decisions that I've done in a career mode, where I let the person who got fouled Take the penalty, but I think it's fair considering he got, he got, he's the one that got fouled. Jin Sancho hits the post. Are you kidding? I thought I'd, I, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. I thought I had that perfectly aligned for it to go in. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm a bloody idiot. And it could be a counter for uh, Watford here. Luckily, we've got it away. Oh, we should be 1 0 up right now, and it's real bloody fault that we're not. Can't do penalties, apparently. Like, I can do penalties, I just can't get them in the top corner. So I'm going to fuck it up. The bottom corner is where I go all the time. I should have just gone down the middle, but I suppose we would have saved it then because it didn't move. But I don't know. I missed the penalty, and that's unfortunate. I think that would have been Sancho's first Bradford City goal as well, but it's just how it goes. I was gonna result you won. Belmonte. Melendo. Maybe it's just because it's Watford. <laughs> I've learned the fact that it's a common point against. How is Telemons gonna get fouled? Like, how is that? Okay, whatever. The body block me all the time, and nothing gets given ever, but I've body blocked them once, and it's a foul. Boateng on the free kick for Watford. Will he go for a shot, or will he go for a ball in? Depending on his free kick stats, he could go for a shot here and look, you know, like Loki. So he's Lafont needs to be on his game. I think he might go for a ball in, though. To be fair, either that or he's setting up something. Yeah, they are setting up something. And it didn't work out initially. The Uri's got to tackle him, but of course you will keep possession off a tackle. Haaland. out to Dembele. You know, if it pressed B, or it registered my B press when I press B, it would be making more sense in that scenario, I guess. It, it would be 1 0. Or at least a very good opportunity being 1 0, but. I didn't fucking pass. It didn't really do it in time, which sucks. Militao, good tackle from him. Of course, the pass is too heavy. Why would it be not too heavy? Why would it be like a perfect pass? Huh? I... What? What the fuck? Is FIFA 20 is actually so... I complain about the game every episode. And I have reason to. When that's fucking flying in. Pardon? Alright, how has my defender not got that? And how has my keeper not made a save? I fucking don't get it. He's smaller than my defender. Is that Malpai? Yeah, Malpai's just headed Watford into the lead. I, this, I just, mm. I don't have words sometimes. Like, that should be easily defended by me, and Upe Meccano hasn't headed it. Bloody Lafont hasn't saved it, which I shouldn't be surprised about at this point in career mode. Lafont couldn't even save his own life if he had to. If there was a non-spiked drink and a spiked drink that would kill you, Lafont would put a spiked drink because he can save his own life. Fucking Christ, bro. And I'm getting, now I'm getting surrounded by Watford players. 
Tielemans. For Bailey. Like I said, we've got the players for this. We just don't have the Here's fucking... Tielemans. Apparently, I need luck. Greenwood. That was in for Hloshek, so we'll give it to Sancho. Yeah, yeah. Sancho. And then they, they know exactly where I'm going to go with it. Belmonte. Given away. Keen with an interception. I was even for two months there, but the touch had worked out to, to be the best. They must finish. And a to you know what? I'll take it. This game does me dirty so many times. It's good to get it dirty back. I thought it was offside then because I didn't actually zoom in onto the celebration. I was like, shitting what? The Bailey, I didn't actually mean to shoot there. I meant to pass it in the middle. I fat fingered and pressed B. But it's saved initially. Haaland gets it through a defender's legs though for one all. It's good that we get a bit of luck of our own sometimes. Well, the manager must be delighted with his team after they showed that attitude to get back into this top stop. Haaland, only second goal in the Premier League. It wasn't exactly the best taken goal in the world, but it does the trick. So, a level contest. 1-1. One, 1-0 one. One now here at the Valley Parade. And it's not like Watford have been that good today. It's just Bill every time we tackle them, we seem to keep possession. Except for then. But then the pass is too heavy and I get body blocked on the way through. So... Literally, what do I do for that? Like, how do I make the passes lighter? I'm literally trying to make them as light as possible. What a save from Lafon. It was offside anyway against Malpai, but... A great leg save there from Lafon. That's, that's what we need more of from him, realistically. Only just offside as well. It could have been called either way. But that's what we need more of from Lafon, not these little stupid attempts where it's an easy save and he's just dove out the like not out of the way but like just away from it. Upper Meccano to Wan Bissaka. Greenwood. Out to Sancho. Chance to attack using wit. A chance to whip it in. Veering in field here. Turning inside, but of course I'm tackled. Can't get around the defender Tony for Villa. shit. Whoever clubbed her from. Wan Bissaka wins it back. Sancho. Right, let's change gear because a goal has been Bro, like, it's no, po it's no it's point. Like, my players stall when they get a possession initially and it just fucks us. Greenwood. Chasing back here. Neil Mope. Melendo. Well, Great tackle from Makimi. And Dembele wins the, well, gets possession here. Dembele out to Tielemans. Down to Sancho. An abundance of space. Can he give them the lead? What? What? Now nah, what? <laughs> like, I'm one for complaining about goals that they've scored, but that shouldn't have gone in for me. I'm not complaining though. Oh, well, I am actually, but I'm not good at complaining. I just <laughs> how's that box, snuck like in? A predator's instinct, just waiting for the ball Whatever. To come good to finish him. from Sancho. Well, I would say. I, get, I guess. Goal. I mean. Ramiro could have done so much better with that. I don't know what animation they've gone for there for the goalkeeper, but Sancho's well, buried it. I think that's his first goal in the Bradford City shirt. Here. It should have been earlier when he had the penalty, but it wasn't, but it is now. Jaden Sancho puts his 2 1 up here at the Valley Parade. Well, as they kick off again, 2 1, the current state of affairs. Like I said, it should be 3 1 based off the penalty, but. I always go right for you. What if they passed off the pitch? And we're right next to their manager, who's bound to be angry. I don't remember who their manager is. It's not the one who's the, who they've got in real life anymore. It's like Marco Silva or something. Who's in this game? I mean, not in real life. Hill Hounds are side. Like way off. But I thought I could play it when he was on, and I didn't. I couldn't even. I'm just trying to keep the lead before half time. Okay, let's deal with this. Okay. Yeah. Well, right, we dealt with it. Could have been a problem, but we dealt with it. And I've been. 
And that's not going to be that's not even going to be registered as a foul, or maybe it will be. It might be given a yellow card, but I that should be a foul <laughs> before half time there. I don't know if it's going to have anything to do with it, but that's whatever. Two one up at half time against Watford after going down one nil. Now Pai scoring the opener. Holland and Sancho bringing us back into it. I don't know if we deserve to be in the lead. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. We'll see in a couple of seconds. We've got Chelsea beating Brentford 1-0. Everton and Spurs are going to play later. That should be an interesting one on top of the table. Aston Villa beating Huddersfield 2-1. Liverpool beating Wolves 2-0. Arsenal beating Manchester City 1-0. And Manchester United drawing 1-0 with Leicester City. And of course, in our game, we are 2-1 up. Let's take a look. Oh, bloody. This, I... Mm, this is what I've been, like, complaining about recently. There's been a couple of games where I've had the less stats and won the match, but th at the moment, it just seems to not be going my way at the moment. Although we are in 2-1. Six shots of four target for us, 47% possession. They've had one shot with one on target, scored it. And 53% possession. Haaland should be doing... Not Haaland. Haaland should be doing better with his shots. Like, that finish from him was a bit... Eh, but it did the trick. But what I really meant was Lafon needs to actually start getting something to some sort of like shots like whenever he takes a shot he used to at least attempt to save it not just let it in one basaka to sancho so see what i mean like they've had one shot they've not even been good this match into Vlasek. can we go through to holland here back into Vlasek. can't get the shot off because the ball the ball's a little heavier a little bit further away from the defender that's 3-1 100 percent no doubt in my mind how have we not now, blocked it off? Okay, well, Militao cleans up. Out of the way. And we're going to get thrown out of that as well. So, we not too shabby. Newcastle's next Watford game in the Premier League Newcastle against United. Watford, I believe yeah, our next game, is in the first game of the Europa League group cracker. stage against Basak Shahir. Andy Robertson's gone to PSG. We read about that already. How have I got 96 pace and 90 plus strength and I'm still losing out on that? What? That's what I don't get. Straight, how, how big is strength, like a part of strength in this game? Because I feel like I should be outstrengthening half the people I'm going up against with Haaland and it's just not outstrengthening them. Even though it was a key main, it's worked out. The Billy might not get there though. He won't. The kind of shielding play Everyone just seems to be the same speed as my really good players who are fast, so... The good passes there from Watford, but at the end it's, like, not going to work out for them. They've got five, I think. We have six Watford players around Haaland there. Greenwood. Oh, can, there's pressure all over me the whole time. Try to score that. Saved by Ramiro in the end. Okay, 50-50 there, I would say. Their header is stronger than mine. Probably makes sense when it was Tielemans versus one of their probably really good header errors. We won the ball back with Akimi Dembele. Lushik's getting trampled. But it's okay. With Haaland. Oh, I should have maybe turned in. So just go straight for the shot. But I wanted to get the shot off. See if it would sneak in near post. But um, it said Haaland shot it straight at Ramiro. What for starts to make substitutions? Maybe we should do that. We've got a Europa League group stage game coming up, but I don't want to risk anything right now. We'll maybe do it in a few minutes. If we can get a third, then I'll 100% start making ourselves. But we haven't got a third yet. Of course, of course you're gonna, of course you're gonna know where I run. Like, how do they track that? Here we go. Counter attack time. Sixty-seven minutes, please. Two-two. gets tackled in, but God forbid we get to keep possession. Greenwood also now, puts a foot in, but doesn't get possession. Great by Militao. It's a mess up from the Watford player, though, that gave us that opportunity to defend that. On the ball, Melendo. Akimi. I'm gonna get thrown out of that. Holy shit! This is 
Why are Watford so difficult? We're gonna make a couple of substitutions though. We'll bring on um Carbonara for Dembele. And then we'll bring on Yota for Flushek, I think. I will leave that for now. I think everyone else should be okay. Wambasak is looking lucky tired, but he should be fine. Throw it to us anyway. Like I said, Dembele and Flushek for Carbonero on Yota. Hopefully that doesn't fuck up the fact that we're in the lead here, but... Carbonero. Up to Yota. Back for it's Carbonero. The new subs could combine here. Or would combine, possibly, if the heavy touch shit wasn't in this game. Where I'm trying to just take a light here. touch. And it gives like, actually, really shit about that. Sancho. Yota. Out to Johan Carbonero. Back can't do anything about that. Really touch is awful. And luckily, and we get the throw out of it. But every time I seem to get, try to get it on the wing, the touch is just like dog shit. That's a bit too heavy, game. although it's worked it's out, kind of. Ah, you have to shot blocked. Of course, because we've got all defenders there already. We're going to get thrown out of that. And we're just going to give it straight to Sancho. Who I don't know what I can do with here. All the options are pretty much marked. Except Haaland. Bloody hell, they're just, I, they're so quickly, they're so quick to get on my players. So I mean, like, how do they just manage to do it every time? Like, just hit the ball away from me, and I can't seem to do it to them. I have to wait till they take a shot, or wait till they make a pass and accept it. There's something I've got to be doing wrong, but I don't know what it is. Okay, thought I'd get the ball back there, but I guess I didn't. thought I'd get the ball back there, I guess I didn't. I'm not allowed the ball back, am I not? I'm just not allowed it back. <laughs> Tackled him twice there, I'm just not allowed the ball back. And space for the cross. Matal heads it to Greenwood. Well, I can tell you a goal has been scored at Stamford Bridge. Let's hear about Alan. it from Alan McAnally. It's the second goal for Chelsea. It's been Carbonero. And he's made headway. The net is staring him in the face. Oh, it's a save well, from Melendo. Not Melendo. Who's the Lemir Mir got his name. Lemiro, maybe? Melendo's their winger. Pretty sure Hennessy asked for this game against Watford, which, oops, but, you know. <laughs> Tillemans. Haaland was meant to be the one to get the, to get the ball there, but he just strayed away from it. I'm not sure why. Hakimi. Trudging forward. Carbonero. Tried to nick his way through there, but couldn't. Can I switch to Greenwood this Christmas? Sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons. To confirm, Chelsea did score in that match, and their advantage at the moment stands at two. Alright, so I immediately pass that with Yotta, and it thinks you want to take three touches before you actually decide to pass it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, well, that Should be closed down by McCann on it is ref. Excellent refereeing. <laughs> here, ref, I'll get fouled all over the place there. Try to defend that. Now can they oh, Jaden Sancho's got a bit of manoeuvring room here. You don't give Jaden Sancho a bit of manoeuvring room. Oh, maybe you do, because you've got all the defenders packed in there anyway. <laughs> Mombasako with an interception. Yuri. This could be the last chance. Maybe we get a third here for Bradford City. And I've been fouled. Oh, no, I haven't. Sorry. I haven't been fouled. It's just a foul, but it's not going to get given. But it's okay, because they finally beat our Boga team. Alan got chopped down there. Would have liked the free kick to maybe try and get a third, but that's just how it goes. We got the win. We're scraping by in the Premier League right now. No goals in the second half to speak of. It was goals from Mapai, Howland, and Sancho in this game that gave us the 2 1 victory over our bogey team from last season. And the final score, though, of Valley Parade Bradford State 2, Watford 1. They're not convincing wins, but they're wins. And that's fine with me, as long as they're wins. And this confrontation. Take a look at the stats. Watford, one shot with one on target, 54% possession. Bradford say 10 shots, six on target, 46% possession. Definitely deserved that win based on those stats, but maybe on possession. Otherwise, I don't know. But anyway, Yuri, man of the match then, 9.2. 9 for Sancho, 8.3 for Haaland. 
Nobody else really is setting the world alight, to be honest. Lafont with a 6.5, which is slightly worrying, slightly concerning there. Their best player goes to Mobpie, I believe. He was our goal scorer with an 8. Uh, Ramiro got a 7.3 on his lot for debut. Which, I guess he made a few saves, so it's not too bad, I suppose. Anyway, post-match interview. Those are the results from the other Premier League matches. Any of your favourite teams are there? If you're a fan of any of them, feel free to take a look. My favourite team drew two all against Leicester, so... Hopefully that win will catapult us into the top half of the table, but... We've got some questions not for you. on it. Got some questions for me? Well, I've got some answers. You were able to secure the victory today before half time. You pleased with how things went in the second half? I'm not displeased. Uh, we were the better team. We deserve to win based on how we played. We created enough chances and the scoreline could have been bigger. I could just take my bloody chances. <laughs> you only won by one goal as Watford, an opponent widely considered weaker, difficult to beat in the end. Yes, because um, they were my bogey team last season. and. Uh, <laughs> Every match is difficult, we'll go with the same answer as we did, I think, in the Aston Villa game, we got his question. Every match is difficult, we take nothing for granted, give our all in each and every match, regardless who we're lining up against. Malpai was one of the best players of the opposition today, how difficult was it to block Watford's attackers from scoring? It was piss, mate. They had one shot. He was the only one that was shot. It was... Oh, wow, I thought it was easy. We just played our game. We just played our game, we believed in our own ability, and we didn't make any special plans to deal with Malpai. To be fair, yeah, they had one shot with one on target. And it was the one that Thank went in. The, the only one that went in. Lafont, if he'd saved that, we'd keep a clean sheet there today. But just how it goes. We've got the win. I'd love to have every shot on target go in the net. That'd be beautiful. I would have won 6-1 that match. But, um... Thought I was get blessed with that. Anyway, we're going to go into some training before we end off the episode. And it will be Yartsev to receive some more. Because we need to like, get his rating way up. If He's, he's not in the first team. So if he's gonna, if he's gonna be back up, full back in, then we need, yeah, we need a bit of improvement from him. We need some improvement once again from Martens, and hopefully he can get an A and hit his uh, hit seventy six there. Mazapov, similar thing. He's now seventeen. Still could grow quite well. Still got potential to grow quite a bit. Finishing could go up. That'd be decent. Who else? Hill. We need to upgrade him. Um. So we'll do a little bit of upgrading on Lance Hill. And then we'll finish it off with Fredrickson, who actually does look like a decent talent, so. Effort. There you go. Average results, but Yarrett Serve is the one that goes up in overall. That's the only one I really care about going up in overall, basically, on that point. Anyway, 72 rated now is Igor Yarrett Serve, I think his name is. Anyway, we're going to go in to the next game. We're just going to sum up to it. No more transfer stuff now, no more. Rumours, no more anything to do with that, so we're just going to head straight into the Europa League. And because it takes us long to load, yep, we've got a press conference for when we play Basaksa here. It's going to be our first go uh, first game of the Europa League group stages. Last season, in our Europa League group stage, we went through five wins and a draw to get to the... Oh, we went all the way to the quarterfinals in the end. But we need to do a couple of steps further, get to the final, and even win the final... So it's going to be a long haul this season, but I strongly believe we can do it with the team we've got. I just need to up my my gameplay, really, more than anything. But next time we will be up against Basics here to kick off the Europa League. We're away for that. We're going to Turkey to take them on. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. A good win over our bogey team from last season and hopefully rising up in the Premier League. Before we do go, though, I know I said I was going to end it there, but I want to check the Premier League table. I'm going to see from the top half. I always get ready to end the episode, and then I want to check one more thing before I do. <laughs> I apologise for that. It's like I'm about to end off, but wait, there's more. So we're not quite in top half. Goal difference is zero, so we've scored the same amount as we conceded. Southampton escaping in the Premier at the top of the Premier League. I don't think I'd ever be saying that. But um, yeah, it's already a catch-up mission for us, more or less. And hopefully we can catch up. It's still early in the season, of course. We're only five points off top four. And we could still get there. But the easy matches that we should have won and we lost don't help proceedings. But anyway, like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you next time when we travel to Turkey to take on Basaksa here. Bye for now.